lab equipment would mysteriously break down or malfunction in his presence. This is not a myth. This is the Pauli effect. Wolfgang Pauli, quantum physicist, and was really an apparent destroyer of equipment. In today's video, we dive into one of the strangest legends in physics, where brilliant science meets bizarre superstition. Wolfgang Pauli was a genius, the kind of mind that could tear apart your theory in seconds. Born in 1900 in Austria, Pauli gave us the Pauli exclusion principle, the idea that no two electrons can occupy the same quantum state. Pauli was one of the most brilliant physicists of that time, but there was something off. Pauli had a strange reputation. Not for being arrogant, though he was sharp. Not for being cold, though he was blunt. He was cursed, <laughs> some claimed. Time and again, scientists began noticing something strange. When Pauli visited their labs, instruments malfunctioned. Machines exploded, lights flickered, entire experiments failed. Spectacularly. Real incident number one. In one lab, a complex vacuum system collapsed moments after Pauli walked in. No explanation, no warning. Number two. In another case, Pauli simply entered a room, and a particle detector stopped working. Later, Pauli wasn't even present, but when a piece of equipment failed, the scientist jokingly asked, was Pauli in town today? And yes, he was. Oh! It got so absurd, that Otto Stern, a Nobel-winning physicist, banned Pauli from entering his lab. Was it all just coincidence, or was there something deeper at play? Even legendary physicists, like Niels Bohr and Werner Heisenberg, would joke about it. They called it the Pauli effect, a strange, almost supernatural phenomenon, where things just stopped working around one man, Wolfgang Pauli. One story says that in Gattingen, there happened an explosion in Major Lab, not because of any wiring error or chemical mistake, but suspiciously at the exact moment Pauli stepped off a train nearby. He wasn't even inside the lab, just near it. Maybe coincidence, but it didn't happen once, it happened again, and again. Physicists started keeping track. If a delicate experiment failed, or some equipment broke for no reason, someone would always ask, was Pauli anywhere nearby? And weirdly, he often was. It became a running gag in physics circles. Otto Stern, a Nobel Prize winning physicist, was so convinced of the Pauli effect, that he banned Pauli from entering his lab entirely, no joke. It was so strangely consistent that scientists stopped calling it bad luck altogether. They simply called it the Pauli effect. But here's where it gets even weirder. In his later years, Pauli started to question reality itself. He got deeply interested in dreams, symbols, and the unconscious mind. He wasn't alone. Pauli began working with the famous psychologist Carl Jung. Yes, the same Jung who introduced us to archetypes, shadow selves, and the idea of a collective unconscious. Together, they explored a mysterious concept called synchronicity. Synchronicity is the belief that to seemingly unrelated events could be connected, not by cause and effect, but by meaning. In other words, sometimes, the universe acts weird, not randomly, but on purpose. Their collaboration explored the possibility that consciousness, perhaps through mechanisms like quantum entanglement, could play a role in both phenomena. Did Pauli's unconscious mind somehow interfere with the real world? It truly sounds insane. All of these reminds us that even in the most logical and rational field, physics, there are still stories that defy explanation. Even in the age of equations and experiments, mystery still lingers. What do you think about these? Comment down and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.